Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I have for you another one of my personal favorite brews. This is what I call pressure cooker. It is a Rakdos burn style deck where everything in the deck um, tries to burn you. So let's take a look at it real quick. So for, it starts with Kumano versus Kakazan. So that card deals damage on his first um on his first tick, gives you a creature on his last tick, and gives a Pleasant Pleasant Encounter on the second tick. So, Voldarn Epicure deals the damage when it comes to the play. Lightning Strike is direct damage. Blood Tithe Harvester is the only card in the deck that does not do direct damage, but it is just really good for Rakdos, so it comes in. Uh, Blood Pact deals two damage and forces someone to draw two cards. So we can either draw cards ourselves or force or our opponent to draw two cards and lose their last two points of life. Then we have Graveyard Trespasser, sucks a life out of the opponent whenever they remove something from the graveyard. Very good card. Braids um, makes the opponent lose two life at the end of turn and you draw a card. If they can't sacrifice a uh, permanent that matches what you sacrificed. Then we have Invasion of Ragatha, deals 4 damage to the face. We have Obnixilis, deals 2 damage if the opponent chooses not to discard cards. Sheldred, deals 2 damage whenever your opponent draws a card. And we have Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, which doesn't deal damage directly, but if the opponent wants to try and remove this, they have to pay life equal to its power to do so. So, if you see here... Everything in here is a way to force the opponent to lose a little bit of incremental life every single turn. And it does have a sneaky little combo if your opponent is low in life involving Sheldred the Apocalypse and Blood Pact. Normally, Blood Pact, you'd play it on yourself to draw two cards and lose two life. But if you point this at your opponent while, they ha while I have Sheldred on the table... I can force them to draw two cards, taking four damage from Sheldred, and then losing two life from Blood Pact. So this turns into a three mana deal six to your opponent's face. So this is pretty good. Um, mana wise, we're looking at seven swamps, a Takanuma, seven mountains, a Sokanzan, two Black Leaf Cliffs, two Haunted Ridge, and four Sulphurous Springs. So the deck is pretty low to the ground. It, most of its cards are in the three mana slot. You got a few ones, a few twos, only one four drop and one um, seven drop that could also be played as a three drop. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's take it out there, see how many wins we can get with it. Let's go. All right, I got three lands, three one drops, and a lightning strike. Let's play it. Skura Storefront. All right, they're going to reverse that one damage I just did. I'm going to play Second Mountain. And play two Voldaren Apicures. That one comes in as a 2-2. Two, two. This one comes in as a 1-1. One, one. Another Obscura Storefront. Mm -hmm. Play land. Play a lay down arms. That's fine. Hmm. My turn. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Next, attack. Then we play Bobby Nix. Sacrifice. Alright. Minus two to make a demon. And then plus one to make them discard a card. And they discard Soul Guide Lantern. Interesting. Okay. 
Only gets rid of one. My turn. Okay. Let's go. Plus one. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Takanuma. As a land. Play Flesh Gorger. Next. Attack. End turn. I like that. You have any creatures over there? No. I do, though. In turn. At 34. That's a lot of life. Okay. Gain three life and draw a card. Or four life. Because it counts after they draw the card. Hmm. Let's see. Do you have the you, you might have um the Sarah Paragon. So we might as well get rid of those. I'm gonna end turn. Yeah, that's why I thought. We'll keep that. Ooh, braids. Oh, I'm surprised you did that. All right. Hey there, little buddy. Restoration of the Ganjo. Okay. That you get. My turn. Alright, you take one. We attack. Play Graveyard Trespasser. And get rid of... The other Obscura. Discard the Kamano. That's what I thought. Mm hmm. Ooh, and they play Kaya. Alright, what are you gonna do with that? Okay. Decline. Absolutely decline. Because now, I can attack you, and kill you. Mm-hmm, because you see that lightning strike in my hand. That's right! So that was a deck that was built specifically to beat Mono Red. But I was not Mono Red. Alright, three lands, Blood Tithe, Graveyard, Trespasser, Invasion, and Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. We'll keep it. Oh, what is this? Trading grounds? Okay. You have my attention, sir. Alright. Surge engine. Okay. Not like that. Next. Attack. Get that day night cycle going. Because it looks like our opponent is mono blue. 
but a really weird version of Mono Blue. Alright, no attacks. And we get to transform. That's really cool. Ooh, but they're also stuck on two land. That sucks for them. Alright. Um... Oh, you can do that, yeah, because of the training grounds. Nice. Good call. Okay, yeah, so block that. That makes me even happier that I have Invasion of Regroth in hand. It fucked. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That is so good. Oh, you can put a plus one on it. Strong. Yeah. Smart. I'm going to say, uh, oh, I, there's no well played option. That sucks. Resolve. Well, he could sacrifice his guy to give minus X and minus X for zero because they have no blood tokens. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I got no problem there. Are there, any, there. Okay, there are no creatures in graveyards. Pass. You want to attack? You probably should. All right, my turn. Let's see here. We'll go mountain into... Oh, we can't do that. But we can do another Takanuma. Alright. Yeah, I'll pay it. Wasn't doing anything else with that many anyways. Smack you and smack that. No attacks, because my guy does not have menace. Mm hmm. Now you're starting to draw some lands, so that's good. Hypnotic Grifter. Okay. Yeah, coming in. Ow! Jerk. Alright, let's see here. Let's go... Takanuma. We'll say... Attack. Right there. Removing your sleight of hand. Because there's nothing else in the graveyard. Okay. Yeah, you gotta do the thing. Resolve. Mm hmm. He's even bigger now. Woo! Resolve. Auto pay. I will absolutely pay it. Here you make disappear. And then we play Evil Dare Nebucure. Makes another token, deals one to you. This is an interesting deck. Oh. Oh. All right, let's start cycling. Get rid of this mountain. Mm 
Ooh. Okay. 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 We got here. We got a spell pierce. We got a mountain. You have nothing in hand. So we're going to do this again. Oh, shoot. Yeah, if we do that, he's just going to remove it in response. That's fine, though. That soul culture is pretty good. Oh, now we're talking. All right. Bobby Nukes in the house. You just lost, dude. Wait, can he activate that? No, he can't. Yeah, you you can you can exile, sure. But you're not drawing cards off of that. Because this still requires at least four mana to activate. Yeah, you can knife, sure. But you're still losing. Boom! Got him. Okay. Sulphur Springs, Mountain, and Sokenzon for Blood Pact, Grave Trespasser, Obnixilis, and Invasion of Ragatha. We don't have any one or two drops, so we're going to mulligan this. Okay. Two lands. And everything's a three, except for the Voldemort and Procure and the Lightning Strike. We'll keep it. Send back the Blood Pact, Black Clue Cliffs, into a Voldemort Epicure. I just need like a swamp, and that'd be great. Mm, no swamp. But we do get to do that. Okay. Oh, perfect. Bring it in. Strike it down. Okay, that's good. Let's go get the graveyard trespasser going. Get rid of the Jukai, steal life, and attack for one. Do you have a third one? Yeah, of course you do. Good job. Slow Gurk. That's fine. Let me see here. Get rid of that. Mm hmm Discard that. Hopefully draw a swamp. That's not a swamp. That's fine then. Attack. Get rid of Slogurk. Alright, you're a 10. I really need a second black mana. I really do. Mm. Well, what you got? You got three mana to play with. Oh, he's going to discard a card to give that minus three. Okay. Aha. Attack for one. All right. Lose two life. You're at nine. Slow Gurk. All right. He really, really likes the Gurk. And a Shigeki. Okay. All right. Well, let's go with Kumano. Into... He braids and attack for four. All right, take four. I will sacrifice my enchantment. Are either of these enchantments? No, they are. Oh, that one is. Shigeki is. But they choose not to. 
and then they die because they chose not to. That's the way it goes. Yes. Love it. We got ones and twos, and we need to draw a land to get into our threes. Let's try it. They're on the play. Okay, let's play Sulphur Springs first. Play Kumana versus Kakazan. All right, we are both at 19. I love equality. Oh. Okay. Blood Tide comes in with a plus one, plus one counter. Though that will not save him from a lightning strike. And there's the lightning strike. It's almost like I've been playing this game for a while. Alright, Mistress Foundry comes in, and so does Squeebob. Alright. Alright, we got that. We got this. We got Voldaren Epicure. And we also have a lightning strike for your Squeebob. Auto pay. And we attack for two. Humano. Mistress Foundry. This is going to be a fast game. All right, so they cast a creature this turn. It gets a plus one, plus one counter. As a Mistress Foundry, they will animate, resolve. Okay, so they can activate for the plus two. Oh, they chose not to though. They chose to sacrifice three life in order to get rid of my guy. And then they're going to swing in for two. Pass, pass, pass. Activate. Get rid of that. Lightning strike. And lightning strike. All right, cool. Next. Attack for two. Ow! And turn. All right. We have another etching of Kumano. See what they choose to play, if anything. They might just try to come in with their Mistress Foundry. Yep, here it comes. Resolve. I'm waiting for them to try to activate that. Pass. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's almost enough. Mm, it actually might. Yeah, they're tapped out. So two, four, five, six. I'm going to let it happen. Pass. Pass. Ow, ow. Mm hmm. I'm going to do two more. We're going to attack for two and finish the game. Yup. GG boy. You're out. That's why I play that card. That's why I play that card. Draw two cards and lose the game. That's how it's done. Okay, so here we are for the post-game wrap for Pressure Cooker. This is my take on the Rakdos burn style deck. So 
what I have to say about this deck is that it it is solid. Like out of all of the decks that I've been playing lately, this is probably the most direct, very straightforward deck that I have right now. And the effectiveness of surprising your opponent with a blood packed lethal cannot be underestimated. This is a such a cool win condition. And there is also the secondary win condition if this ever happens, which I've never gotten it to happen because my opponent has played too much removal, and that is having Shieldred on the board, having Obnixilus on the board, up to seven points, and you ultimate it, and that's like an easy 21 damage right there. Because like, let's read this for a second, because many people don't know what Obnixilus does at ultimate. Minus 7. Target player draws 7 cards and loses 7 life. So you lose 7 life right there, plus an additional 14 from Sheldred um, when you draw each of those cards. So that's an instant minus 21 if you can get this combo to go off. It's not going to go off often, but it can go off. But all of the other like incremental bits of damage that happen throughout the course of playing this game cannot be underestimated. This is a deck that will get you wins, and it will get you wins often. This is a very fun, very but very straightforward deck. So if this is something that you're interested in playing, I'll leave a deck list in the description box down below so you can give it a spin yourself. So if you like this, if you want to see more like this, feel free to subscribe. Like the video so more people can see it themselves. And um, yeah, until next time, you take care of yourselves.